Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I just have a haul and is the mini catalog in celebration which is coming January 4th. So I wanted to get this out so you can make up your wish list because there's so much cute stuff in here. Y'all, I couldn't get everything that I really wanted because, I mean, you know. Anyway, it's, it's such a fun time of year. Everybody just loves celebration. It's one of the best times of the year for everybody. And I know my customers get excited about it. So I hope you enjoy this haul. I'm going to show you just what I got. I'm going to show you the, some of the celebration items, but I can't show you the inside because it's just a rule they give us that you can't show it until the catalog goes live, which will be January 4th. If you are my customer and you have placed an order within the last six months, you will get a catalog in the mail. It'll be sent to you through Stampin' Up! in the mail. And if you think you have and you haven't gotten one, just contact me on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. For those of you who are new to my channel and if you do not have your own demonstrator and you would like a catalog, there will be a form on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. On the top, it'll say catalog request, and you re can request these catalogs from me. All right, everyone, let's get started with this. Grab yourself your favorite drink, a coffee, a, a Coke, whatever you like to drink, and sit back, relax, and enjoy the haul because... It may be a little bit of a longer video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the bundles. And I'm going to start off with Valentine's because it's coming up and I got a few things already for these. Now I haven't looked at any of this stuff before you, so I may not have all the great information that you need for it yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to try to give you my best um, haul here because... There's so much stuff and it's hard to learn all the names and everything that the dyes do and all that. So this is called Adoring Hearts and isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love everything about it. You know how I love wreaths and I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the writing on it. So this will be a great one for Valentine's. The embossing folder and the dyes come in here. Now these are something new. I haven't looked at this yet as well. So it has the thoughtful moments um, and it's a hybrid hybrid folder and the dies. So if I can get this open, am I doing this on the wrong side? Y'all, I can't figure this out. Where is the opening? It usually comes up really quick. There we go, I think I was on the wrong side. No, it's not. It's this side. Oh my goodness. Like I told you, I'm just familiarizing myself with these as well. Alright, so here we go. This is the embossing folder. Now you emboss these images and then you cut them out with the dies. It's really pretty. It's in the catalog. Like I said, I can't show you, but I'm going to show you here what the dies look like. So... I thought this is going to be super, super pretty. I love the embossing folder with all the beautiful sentiments. And then these are the dies. So look at that. Let me pull out the embossing folder so you can see this. Maybe this will help you to understand what these, this does. You can color this as well. Like, you know how in the embossing... And when you emboss, you can color the part of the embossing folder. But look at this. Can you see the hello here? Can I don't know. There you go. Let me grab a piece of black cardstock. I think you can see it better. Oh, yes, definitely. Look at that. And then these dies, and there's a lot of little extra dies on here. There's little stars and hearts and rainbows and flowers and leaves. Let me pull this up. This is a big die. Someone else may have already showed how this works, but I'm going to show you here. So look at, you put your die on there like that, and it cuts these all out, all the sentiments out. 
Isn't that neat? I just love this one. So that's how that works. Let's see if I can get this back on here. I'll put this on one of my magnetic math, my magnetic sheets after. But I can't wait to try this one. I think it is super cool. This goes in here. You know me, y'all. I can do this later off camera, <laughs> but I have to have things organized. It really, really drives me crazy. Okay, so we're going to put those aside. And this one, I believe, does the same exact thing, but they are hearts. Let's see if I can get this one open. Okay, so we'll pull this one out too. So they come together, in case you, <laughs> you're wondering that. Yes, they come together. And these are so pretty. Look at the hearts on here. Let me grab that piece again and show you the hearts. Look at the hearts. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And then the embossing folder. Or this is the dies. These are so pretty. They will cut them out, I believe, individually. So yeah. So this one's the same way. You know, when you first take these out, they're on a bunch of tape. And they're so hard. That's why I like the magnetic. Oh, look at here. You can use cut out the hearts too, like separately. You can cut out some hearts. I love hearts. I'm so glad we got some kind of heart back. It's got a little banner. Look, at it's got these leaves and these little hearts as well. So you will just have to go like this. And look at that. Look how cool is that? Y'all, this is such a good idea. I just love this idea. So that is those. And we're going to move on to this Hooray for Surprises. And this can be used for Valentine's, but I got this because it's got a lot of different occasions. I love the flower, the little cake with the candle. I love this whole thing. Pull for you. And the dies are what I really love about this. But this has got a lot of birthday wishes, and you can use it for anything. You're the best. But these dies, hooray for surprises. So you can cut everything out, y'all. See this die right here? This is one of those like zipper dies. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. When you, you'll see me use it for sure because you know how I love bags and boxes. So you can put this on a box, have it all closed up, and then you use this on it. And when you open it, you just take this tab and you pull the tab. You can do it on a card to reveal a message under it. Um, these used to be around a long time ago. I've never had one of these dies, but um, I, I take that back. I've had one from a different company, but Stampin' Up! I don't know if they've ever had another one like this. But that is what I really wanted with this whole thing, and I thought this would be great for all different occasions. I love the little circles here. Um, this can reveal, there's different things you can do with this. It can reveal a little message. It's got a little thing you can pull up a tab. Here you can pull up. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, the heart does the same thing. And it's a plain heart, which I love. Yeah, the, we're getting some really, really neat stuff, y'all. So, so fun. All right, so that's another one. The next one is Easter. Yes, I'm thinking ahead. I wanted to get this for Easter because the catalog has a really cute idea and you know, my idea, first idea was, yes, I want to make some 3D project with this. So this is why I got this. I love the little bunny. You can make him a chocolate bunny. I love the little eggs. And then these are the dies, the excellent egg dies. So let's pull this open. These little papers I can just get rid of. 
because I don't keep those. And then this one, here's the dies. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize all these were in here. Look at the, can you see these dies? These little egg dies have all little designs on. This has dashes, this has little dots, and this has, I think, dashes and dots on it. And then look at these, look at this. It's all got little dots on it. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have done this before to show y'all what these looked like. This is amazing. I didn't realize it had, I thought it just cut out these images, but no, it does a lot more. Yeah, I'm going to love that one. So fun. And you can make other things besides Easter eggs with those dies. All right. Next one is called Sending Love. And, yeah, this could be a great one for Valentine's as well. But I love the mailbox. I love all the sentiments on it. I usually at Christmas make a mailbox, and I didn't get one done this year. I was trying to work on one and it just didn't turn out the way I liked it. So I'm working, I'm going to try to get another one out. Maybe I'll have one for Valentine's Day. But look at how cute are these little, this little stamp set. I love this with the dies as well. So I love the little lines for the postage. It's so cute. This is going to be so cute for cards too. And look at this. Look, at it's got little grass. It's got little, like, log. Here's a little tiny envelope for your mail. This is, I think, what is this? I think this is a tiny little mailbox. Oh, this is the mailbox. This is like a 3D version of the mailbox. How cute is that? And then just some little extra pieces here. It's got the, for the bird, for this this for the little heart the circle for here it's got everything in it the one for the envelope there oh my gosh this is so cute y'all I'm so excited to get new stuff and move on um, we did a lot of Christmas so got this one it was called trusty tools you're gonna see in the celebration catalog, there is designer series paper to go with this. I got this to do masculine things. I don't have um, my dad anymore for Father's Day, but I am so excited. I mean, I can make them for my husband and my son, but um, yeah, I just wanted something masculine because I really like to do some masculine things, and this is perfect for that. And then this has the dies as well so cute I really like sometimes I don't like them look at this oh my gosh look at this where you can hang the tools on here oh my gosh this is so cute you can make a mailbox it's got the handle and the bottom part not a mailbox but a toolbox with this it's got all the things for the tools here to cut them all out um, oh my gosh this y'all I'm so excited about this catalog <laughs> And I'm not a big masculine, you know, if you watched my, I don't do a whole lot of masculine, but when I saw this, I thought this is perfect. I guess it reminds me of my dad. My dad was a carpenter. He, he did everything, y'all. He, he was so good with his handiwork. He did all kinds of stuff and it, it was, he was so good. Let me tell you, he was so talented. All right, this is another favorite ice cream swirl with the ice cream swirl dies. Look at how cute. It's got a little donut, a little strawberry, a cherry to top it off. This one is so cute. This is going to be super popular, popular y'all. There's been a couple others, too, that I didn't get yet that are going to be really popular. But I just wanted to get the ones, basic ones that I really, really, look at, see, you can cut out the the uh, ice cream cone, the little top of the ice cream, um, the little sprinkles for your ice cream. Look how cute. Even if you want it in a cup, you can put it in a cup. It's so cute. This is so cute. And I think we have the paper. We have paper for this too. I can't remember, but this is super cute. I'll have to look and see. All right. 
that one is one of my faves. And then the perennial postage. This is the last bundle I'm sharing because, yeah, I love this one as well. And you're going to see one of the reasons I got this. One of the reasons I got this is for the dyes. Love this. Sorry for all the crinkle. I know sometimes that's annoying. And so look at this, y'all. Look at these dies. They are like postage. It's like a postage, um, you know, stamp. And it's got a little thing for the postage. This will go really good with the other one, coordinate with the other one that I just showed you. Sending love. So the sending love one would be so cute with this as well. But oh my gosh, look at these dies. Oh my goodness, there's so much good. And I love, love, you've, already, you've heard me say this a million times, how I love the standard font with the cursive. To think that kids are not learning cursive in school. <laughs> I just don't understand that whole concept. I don't know. All right, so some of these things I got free. Um, Stampin' Up! actually gave us this at our convention, our online convention we had. So that is the Planted Paradise. It's really not my thing, y'all. I don't usually do these with the little vase and stuff, but I'm going to see what I can do with that. And then I got the Hills of Tuscany, which I love because I'm purebred Italian. <laughs> and this is for all my Italian friends I'm going to be sending cards to. It's so pretty when it's put together. It's got the little villa, the little trees, the cypress trees. And it just has some really pretty sentiments. Wishing you peace. You're in my thoughts. I just can't thank you enough. And hello. Love this. It's got the sky and the hills. It's so pretty in the catalog. The pictures, how they made it together. So I was excited about that. And then this is the mini alphabet. You know how I love alphabet. So this is a new one. It's called mini alphabet dies. So look at how cute. And I love how you get double A's, double H's, double L's, double N's and O's and T's and S's, R's. It's, I love this one. It's got a lot of little um, symbols here as well. So super, super cute. I love the alphabet. And this is perfect size, that alphabet. I love that size. And then I got these Thoughtful Expressions dies. This does go with a stamp set. But I didn't care for the stamp set. I'm just not into that type of stamp set. Um, it has a hummingbird on it. You may have seen it in somebody else's haul or anything. It's just not one that I normally would get. So, But I love the dies. <laughs> so you'll see why. Look at these. Oh my goodness. See, it has the die for the hummingbird and for a couple other, uh, other images. But these are the ones that caught my attention. Look how gorgeous these are. I can't, y'all, I can't. I just can't. It's so, so cute. So that's why I got that one. <laughs> I wanted those dies so bad. All right, so those are the ones that were all single. And then, oh, we have a new brayer, y'all. This is a new Stampin' Up! brayer. And I got that. I love the size of this. It's so good. So I did get one of those, and I'm going to show you a couple sweets that I got. So you've probably already seen this one out there, because we got it before our convention, and we got to play with it and make cards with it, and look at this. I didn't even open, oh yes I did, I have another, I bought a second one of these. I'm going to show you the paper here in a second. So this is a um, pillow box, but it's square. So this is all in a suite, the Be My Valentine stamp set. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. And then the little embellishments are the hearts and flowers, adhesive back, they're adhesive back. And then this is the ribbon that went, goes with it. And it's sweet sorbet and it's called the bordered ribbon. And then of course the punch that goes with our little bee. And let me grab the paper I already opened. I told you we already got to play with it. So here is the paper. So let me show you what this paper looks like. Look at that. It's so cute. And then these, look at the gingham on the back or the plaid. I love it. Look at how cute they go together too. I love how these all coordinate. Look at this paper. 
That's why I got two, y'all. You know this is very me. Look at the stripes. This is cute together. Look at this. Isn't that adorable with the little jam jars? And the ones with the hearts. These coordinate so good together. Look at that. And then this has the little flowers. That would go really cute with that one. And then these flowers right here. Oh, that's the other one with the stripes. All right, so that's why I got two of these, y'all. I'm going to use it a ton. I know I'm going to use it a ton. So that is one of the sweets I got. Actually, I don't. I didn't get the full suite on the other one. So this is the Notes of Nature, and I got the Designer Series paper. I love these embellishments. These are cork. They're cork rounds. Can you see that? They're so cute. And then I got this leather ribbon. It's, let's see, what are they calling it? It's gold, but it's, it's a faux leather trim. I really like this. This is so masculine. I thought it'd be perfect for like Father's Day or for a masculine. And so this is the um, Notes of Nature. I love this. Again, I got this whole thing, but I love it. I love these little um, note things here. Note things, whatever, you know. <laughs> That tells you a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I like those, and I like these leaves. I like I like this one a lot, actually, the Notes of Nature. And then I, these are the dies that go with it, but I really love the dies because this die will cut holes in it. Like if you make a journal or any kind of like notepad, this will cut the lines or the holes in it for your journal and stuff and I love that I love these the leaves you know how I love leaves and then these other ones just cut out these here but yeah I love this because I thought that would be really cute for a card or even on a 3d project it would be super cute to have the holes in there you know I'm going to come up with something y'all I'm going to try so that goes with that and then this is the paper did I open this yet no so let's open this and look at this I have a lot of paper to share with you because a lot of the paper I got I got free during celebration so look at this this is gold so pretty the back this is masculine too this is great for but look at the gold foil so pretty the, black, the backs are plain. Oh, I love this one. It's got gold flecks on it. I always love the writing, writing on the paper. This is some that I usually hoard, but I'm going to try to use it, y'all. I don't know why I do that. And then this one is gorgeous, too. Love the gold. Love this one, too, the back of that. So let's see what the other ones look like. This is going to be actually really nice for a masculine project. Oh, and then look at that. You can cut those out and just use it on the front of a card. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one, and it's gold foiled. It's all writing. Actually, does it say anything? Yes. It. Let's see. It does, but I can't. The image of the former of I don't know there is writing on this though y'all <laughs> if you can read it let me know <laughs> and then this one yes this is great for masculine this is going to be really good for masculine so that is that set I don't know if this is the whole uh suite or not I can't remember I think there was something else that went with it another stamp set all right now I'm gonna oh I need to share these because I just used these the other day in my project. So I wanted to show you this one. This is Lighter Than Air Designer Series Paper. This is, I used this paper the other day. If you didn't see my project on Tuesday, go back and look at that. It's really cute. It's a New Year's one, but you can use it for birthdays or whatever. But this is definitely me too. Love, love this. Definitely me. So, and then the Baker's Twine that coordinates with that. And this does go with a bundle. I didn't get the bundle. But this is the Rainbow Adhesive Back Dots. Look at these. 
How fun are these and how springy is this? Love that. All right, let me grab the celebration items. And these aren't even everything, y'all. This isn't all the celebration items. So I'm going to tell you first, this one is the ribbon. And this is crinkled ribbon. Let me open this because I've been wanting to see how this ribbon ties. So, of course, you know how I am with this stuff on this ribbon. I hate that. That one came off pretty easy. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm gonna definitely be using this ribbon a lot. Look at this, isn't that pretty? Ties really nice too. It is gorgeous though. This is a celebration item, y'all. And it's got a bunch on it here too. It's a pretty big roll. Alright, and then another thing is the Softly Sophisticated, and it had the embossing folder that comes with it. That's the embossing folder. These come, and this one is for a $100 purchase, I believe. When you spend $100, you can get this. Again, I love the sentiments and the flowers on this one. Alright, and this one is called Cradled in Love, and y'all, I am expecting a new great grand daughter in March so I got this for a card for my granddaughter but and for the baby when she comes it's so cute I'm so excited y'all I can't wait to have another new one in our family so I got this one this is a celebration item as well and then the heart heartfelt hellos I love this look how bold and nice these sentiments are love these sentiments so so cute and for every occasion all right now <laughs> we have a lot of paper here okay so this is the paper that goes with the tools one the dad one and trusty toolbox this is a celebration item i thought i opened these all but i guess i didn't I need to put these all in my little folders by the way you always comment on where i got my folders they're linked always linked in the description my little plastic sleeves that I put these in. So this is that one. Let me get rid of this. And this is the paper. Great masculine paper. Look at that. I love this one. I love red though. Red's one of my favorite colors. Another one. There's the back of that one. That one. That would be cute for the toolbox. The little nuts and bolts. And then this one looks like a ruler. Isn't that cute? That would be cute for a toolbox too. And then we're back at the beginning. No, that's different. This is different. It's got different tools on it. There's the blue on the back of that. So yeah, these two pieces are different. They have different tools on them. All right, so that is one. This is, like I said, celebration item. And this also is a celebration item. This is called Most Adorned. That goes with the Most Adorned stamp set that I showed. And this also has foil. Look at the back, though. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I love this one. That's great for Valentine's. These are all great for Valentine's. Actually, this is a great one. Oh yeah, look at the hearts. This is going to be really cute for Valentine's Day. With the gold foil. Look at the hearts. Look, oh my gosh. Look at this piece right here. Look how beautiful. Wouldn't that be beautiful on a card? You can cut this in half. And this you can put on the bottom of a card. Oh, I love the back, though. Oh, my gosh. I hate when they put two of my favorites on the back and front. And then this one. And then look at these hearts. So cute. I'm not crazy about this, but I love these hearts. So I'll definitely use that. So great one for Valentine's Day. I'm going to keep this on here because it has a little sticker. And then this one is also celebration. <laughs> and this is softly stippled. I thought I opened all these, but I didn't. 
Right. Oh yeah, I did that one. And this is pretty too. I really wanted this for these flowers. Okay, and the back are just like brush strokes. This one's got, this is another one for Valentine's. Yeah, this is a great piece for Valentine. This, even for a masculine. It's got the leaves and then the blue, the roses. You can color these. That way, beautiful watercolor. Some more paint strokes, the flowers. This one has that on the back. It looks like weave, uh, basket weave. And then that is it for that one. All right, I can throw this one away because it's on the back. And then, this is one of my favorite, y'all. I, I wanted two of these. I may go ahead and get another one um, if I order any more, which, you know me, I'm probably going to order more. But I love these birds on here. I love the watercolor look. It's gorgeous, y'all. This paper is so gorgeous. This is also free with, um, during celebration. Look at the back. I love that, too. Look at these. Y'all, look how beautiful this paper is. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. There's another one. Wouldn't it be cute to just use a circle around that? Sorry, my neighbor just got a new truck. And it's louder than the last one. <laughs> it wake, he wakes me up every morning, actually, because <laughs> his truck is so loud. So I'm sorry if you're hearing that. <laughs> but look at this one. I just joke. They're great neighbors. They really are great neighbors. I'm just joking about it. But, yeah, it is loud. Oh, look at this one. So pretty. And then this one. Isn't this gorgeous paper? Y'all, oh, I love the back of this one, too, and these little birds. Love this paper. This has got to be one of my favorite papers. Love this one. All right, and this is the last one, y'all. I did open this one, too. And this one is called Sunny Days. This does coordinate with one of the stamp sets we have. So we have that. Oh, my God. Look how cute this is. Look at that. You can just add some cute little figures to this. Cut it down for a card. So cute. And then this flowers. This is good for Valentine's as well. It's so pretty. And then that's the other side. Look at these flowers. So pretty. Oh, and then it's got... Look at that. Those coordinate cute together. And then the strawberries, what's on that side? Little butterflies. Don't really like those two together, but. And then this one, with these little flowers on the back, or it looks like sun, sunrise or something. Look at the cherries, so cute. I think this is the last one. Yeah. So that is it, y'all. That is my haul. I know there's a lot of a lot more in the catalog but it's so let me grab it real quick so that this is that one that I showed you with the ice cream it's so cute isn't that so adorable makes such a cute card and then our celebration catalog as well so that is it everyone I hope you enjoyed the haul I know I don't do hauls regularly sometimes I get to them sometimes I don't but I had time today, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.